Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming to the channel. And you see who we are going to be talking about today. I get my article from Urban Bell Magazine, and it is written by Amanda Anderson Miles, okay? And she titled her piece, Melanie Hope Comes Out on Top of Custody Battle Against Martel Hope. Well, you don't say, you don't say, okay? Mel Melanie Hope and Martel Hope have been tied up in a custody battle. Love and Marriage Huntsville star Melanie Holt and Martell Holt have been in the headlines quite a bit for the last several weeks, despite the show's hiatus. Martell didn't, well, Martell decided to sue Melanie for full custody of their children, and the legal battle kept from legally changing her name. As for Martell, he told his supporters that he wasn't wrong to make the move. He even said they would support his choice once they were told the whole truth. However, he also expressed that he didn't like that Melanie would ask other people to watch their children instead of just asking him first. He also took issue with Melanie's brother watching their children. Some love and marriage Huntsville fans think this is due to homophobia. They had created a petition demanding he is fired from the show. Well, I mean, some people are just not going to like gay people. Regardless, as long as they're not th throwing or screwing hate or attacking them physically, that's really not much you can do. Okay, really not much you can do. Going back to the article, it says, well, Martell and Melanie were in court the other day. So a lot of people have been wondering if Martell was victorious. Prior to the custody drama, both Martell and Melanie agreed to join custody of their children. The former couple was even getting along better. The, uh, Melanie invited Martell and his mother to the vacation she had planned for the children, too. Although it hasn't been confirmed what took place in court yesterday, some are thinking Melanie came out on top. Okay, let's move to the other part. Okay. Okay, it's buffering still, but I can see it. Okay, fans have been very, very vocal about Martell Holt and Melanie's Hope custody battle. <coughs> In fact, some <coughs> some of Love and Marriage Huntsville fans were outraged that Martell actually sued Melanie for full custody of their children. Okay, um. They created a petition that demanded he is fired from the show, and he was accused of being emotionally abusive and homophobic. Martell has been vocal about his issue with Melanie's brother, okay? And his brother's, uh, Melanie's brother's name is Marcus Minifield. Um, let me see. Marcus Minifield, watching the whole kids. Marcus is gay. He's been with his husband for years. Martell and Melanie had to return to court this past Tuesday, and it was reported by various bloggers that a decision would most likely be made by a judge on that day. While neither Melanie nor Martell have given any direct updates about what happened, some people are paying close attention to their social media posts. And Melanie's recent posts have fans thinking that Martell lost his bid for full custody. After their appearance in court, Melanie posted laughing emojis to her Facebook story. Uh, she also posted a selfie as well that made it appear as if she didn't have a stressful day at the courthouse. Mm -mm. 
Uh, so it seems like Melanie came on top, and maybe she's still stuck with the idea what they first had went out, which both of them have joint custody. Uh, it's a shame that Martell does what he does, but if he's a cheater, he's going to cheat, and he's going to lie. Okay? That's just how it is. He's going to cheat, and he's going to lie. Unless he gets better with knowing who he is and not just trying to make some scandalous news out there and have people keep talking about him. Uh, Dr. Heavenly even told us about him. <laughs> and she didn't mean some words, okay? She just really said he was a dog, to put it just bluntly. He was a dog. He was a cheater. He a cheater. He can, he can lie, too. So he was, uh, she was mostly like, don't uh, let this man, uh, charismatic charm, you know, woo you into liking him because he's no good. He is no good. If his wife figured that out, and his fans can figure it out, even a blind man can see he's just not the person to be with, okay? Maybe Sheree Whitfield should look at his uh, accounts and follow Melanie as well so she can keep up with the comings and goings. Because half the time, he might be telling Sheree a totally different thing. But for Sheree to be in her middle 50s, looking wonderful, Still getting around on her own, still travel, doing what she has to do, and then got back on the show and actually um, perking up, I could say. Uh, and she's hopefully have completed her She by Charade line, so we can expect to uh, have orders come in for her after the reunion show. Okay, she should give us some updates, some positive updates, but we have yet to see her fashion show. I don't know if that's going to be tonight or uh, the following week. Uh, but we would love to see her in her heyday, making her dream come true of having a successful launch uh, of her clothing line. She about to write. But she better be. She better be careful. She better be very, very, very careful because he is a wolf in sheep's clothing. A wolf in sheep's clothing because it's his life didn't want him, and she still has a little baby that's not even a year old, okay, or almost a year old, she had these babies for this man, this man cheated on her, and she looked the way she looked, and she's very smart and intelligent, child, please, my child don't know who he wants, <clears throat> he barely know who he is, <clears throat> but that's all I got for this particular video, guys, y'all get down in those comments, remember to like and share, my videos and subscribe if you haven't done so if you haven't done so subscribe and like my videos guys come on come on come on come on and i will see you next video bye bye